Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Unseen Passenger The subway train screeched to a halt at the dimly lit station, its flickering overhead lights casting eerie shadows on the worn, graffiti-covered walls. The platform was nearly deserted, only a handful of weary late-night commuters waited in silence. Among them was Alex, a young man who had chosen the late-night subway ride to escape the haunting loneliness of his one-bedroom apartment. As he entered the train, Alex was relieved to find an empty seat next to a window. The car was mostly vacant, with just a few scattered passengers in various stages of slumber. He settled into his seat, placing his backpack on the floor beside him. Little did he know that this seemingly ordinary act would soon plunge him into a nightmarish journey. The subway doors hissed shut, and the train lurched forward into the dark tunnel. Alex gazed out of the window, watching the graffiti-covered walls whiz by. He was lost in thought when he felt a sudden chill. Turning his head slightly, he saw the empty seat beside him shrouded in an inexplicable cold mist. Confused and alarmed, Alex looked around. No one else seemed to notice the bizarre chill in the air or the empty seat. He thought it might be a malfunctioning air conditioning system, but couldn't shake the eerie feeling that something was wrong. Then, as the train rattled along, he heard a soft, whispering voice, barely audible amidst the rattle of the subway's wheels. Hello, Alex, it said, seeming to come from the empty seat beside him. Alex's heart pounded in his chest. He turned toward the voice, his eyes wide with terror, and stammered, Who's there? The voice, still barely more than a whisper, replied, And the unseen passenger, Alex, the one no one else acknowledges, the one who knows the secrets hidden in the hearts of your fellow commuters. Alex was paralyzed with fear but couldn't help being curious. What secrets? He asked, his voice trembling. The unseen passenger's presence grew stronger, though it remained invisible. Close your eyes, Alex and I will show you. I will reveal to you the darkest secrets of those around you. Despite his fear, Alex complied. He closed his eyes, and the subway car seemed to fade away. Instead, he found himself in a surreal, shadowy realm where the passengers were no longer ordinary people. Their deepest fears and regrets were laid bare before him. He saw a middle-aged woman across from him, her face twisted with guilt. The unseen passenger whispered, she's haunted by the death of her child, a secret she's kept hidden for years beside her, a businessman who had always seemed so confident appeared broken, confessing his fraudulent activities and shattered marriage. Another passenger, a young man, bore the scars of a traumatic experience that had driven him to the brink of madness. As Alex continued to witness the painful secrets of his fellow travellers, he began to feel a growing dread. He wanted to escape this nightmarish revelation, but the unseen passenger held him captive. It whispered more secrets, each darker and more disturbing than the last. Hours passed, or perhaps it was just minutes in this twisted dimension. Finally, the unseen passenger spoke to Alex directly, and now, Alex, it's your turn. I know you're a secret too. Tears welled up in Alex's eyes as he realized there was no escape. He had been carrying a burden too heavy to bear, a secret he had locked away deep within himself, hoping never to confront it. The unseen passenger forced him to confront his own demons, his past mistakes, and the terrible guilt he had buried. As the subway train pulled into the final station, the unseen passenger's presence began to fade. Alex, still trembling, found himself back in the ordinary world. The passengers around him appeared, as they always had, unaware of the horrors they carried within. The subway doors opened, and the other commuters disembarked, leaving Alex alone with the chilling knowledge of their secrets, as well as the one he could no longer deny. The unseen passenger was gone, but its haunting words echoed in his mind, a reminder that some secrets are better left unspoken. As Alex left the subway, he knew that his life would never be the same. The encounter with the unseen passenger had peeled back the layers of deception and revealed the darkness that lurked beneath the surface of everyday life. He was no longer just a commuter on a late night train, he had become a keeper of secrets, burdened by the weight of the unseen passenger's revelations and his own. Haunted by the knowledge he had acquired, Alex struggled to return to his mundane daily routines. 
The secrets he had learned during the fateful subway ride haunted his thoughts, casting a shadow over his interactions with the people he had once considered strangers. He couldn't help but see them in a new, more vulnerable light. As days turned into weeks, he found himself reaching out to some of the people he had seen on the subway, even though they remained unaware of the secrets he had uncovered. The guilt-ridden mother, the broken businessman, and the traumatized young man became subjects of his sympathy. He offered support where he could, sometimes only through a friendly smile or a kind word. In doing so, he hoped to alleviate their suffering, even if just a little. Yet it was his own secret that tormented him the most. The unseen passenger had forced him to confront a painful truth he had buried deep within his soul, a secret he was too ashamed to share with anyone. It was a betrayal, a terrible mistake that had cost him a dear friendship. He knew he needed to make amends, but the fear of facing the consequences held him back. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Alex found himself back on the same subway line. He couldn't resist the pull of that fateful seat, the one where he had encountered the unseen passenger. He sat down, half hoping to confront the invisible entity once more, to beg for guidance on how to rectify his own secret. But the seat remained empty, and the whispers were gone. As the subway journey continued, he closed his eyes and reflected on the dark secret that had haunted him. The train car's rhythmic clatter felt comforting, like a lullaby. In this moment of solitude, he found the courage to reach out to the person he had wronged. After what felt like an eternity, the subway reached his destination, and Alex knew what he had to do. He disembarked with renewed determination, determined to mend the broken bonds of friendship. He dialed a number he hadn't called in years, and as the phone rang, his heart pounded in his chest. His old friend, Sarah, answered the call. Her voice was hesitant, surprised by the unexpected contact. As Alex stammered through an apology, revealing his deep regret for the betrayal he had committed, tears welled up in his eyes. He had hoped for forgiveness, but he knew he couldn't expect it. To his surprise, Sarah's voice softened, and she forgave him, just as she had once done during their years of friendship. It was a moment of healing, a step toward closure that had eluded him for so long. With that heavy secret finally off his chest, Alex felt the sense of relief wash over him. The unseen passenger's presence, once so haunting and malevolent, had brought darkness to his life, but it had also led him to confront his own demons and seek redemption. As time passed, Alex continued to encounter the ordinary and the extraordinary in his daily life. He learned that while darkness may lurk in the hearts of strangers, it also resides within our soul. The key to overcoming it was to face it, accept it, and find a way to make amends. The unseen passenger had revealed that the deepest secrets could be the most powerful agents of change. The subway ride that had begun as a nightmare had, in the end, become a catalyst for personal growth and redemption. Alex's encounters with the unseen passenger had opened his eyes to the profound complexities of the human experience, reminding him that even in the darkest corners of the human soul, there could be a glimmer of hope and healing. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.